Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this intro. This tutorial has been requested a lot. Um, I think that a lot of you can figure this out on your own, but for the ones that can't, I'm going to make this tutorial. As you can see, I've made some adjustments to the intro, but it's still the same thing. So let's start. Um, first, you need to create a new composition. Um, the duration is going to be 5 seconds and I'm going to use the HDTV 1080 preset and I'm going to change the name of the composition to intro. So now, the first thing that you need to do is you need to create two white solids. So that's one and here's the second one and now um, we're going to create a mask on the second solid so we're going to select it and then we're going to use the pen tool to draw a mask like this and as you can see nothing has changed but now we need to change the opacity of the first solid by pressing T and then um, changing this value to 20 so that we can see through the solid and then we're going to change the opacity of this solid to 10 okay um, now we need to animate um, these solids so we're going to select both of them and we're going to press P which is going to bring up the position property and we're going to create a keyframe um, right here and then we're going to move 10 frames forwards by pressing shift and page down and then we're going to create a second set of keyframes so right here we want um, this solid to be down there and while you're moving it press shift and we want this solid to be up there so now we made this animation um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to select all of these keyframes and we're going to press F9 to easy ease them and then we're going to offset this set of keyframes like uh, this okay and now we're going to select all of them and we're going to open up the graph editor so that we can adjust um, these um, the velocity so I'm going to move this handle like that and this handle like that and now if we do a RAM preview we can see the animation that we made okay so now you can close the speed graph and now let's import the After Effects logo. So after importing the logo into After Effects, we can just drop it into um, the composition. And now we're going to adjust the position of the logo. Um, I'm going to move it right there and now let's um, add an effect to our logo we're going to add line sweep and in the original intro I used Venetian lines for um, the transition of the logo but right now instead of that I'm going to use um, the line sweep so at the 15th frame we're going to create a first keyframe and we're going to change the completion to 100 um, then we're going to move 10 frames forwards by pressing shift and page down and we're going to change this to 0 so as you can see we've got an animation that looks like this now if you want to you can change the thickness and you can adjust the angle um, so I'm going to change it to 210 so that we get something like this now once we're done animating the logo the only thing that's left uh, for us to do 
is to add the text. So I'm going to type in After Effects Tutorial and I'm going to change the font size to 110 and I'm going to change it to bold um, let's see bold and let's change the position of the text like that now we need to add the second text layer and we're going to type in um, I don't know how to make this intro and I'm going to change the font size to 90 and I'm going to change this to italic okay let's move it right there now we're going to draw a line so we're going to select the pen tool and make sure that your fill is set to none and the stroke is set to solid color and the um, stroke width is going to be 8 pixels so make sure that you um, press shift while you're drawing this line and that's it now we're going to animate the position of the text so first I'm just going to move it um, like that okay and now we need to draw two masks on our text layers um, so let's select this text and let's just draw a mask like this and then let's select this text layer and let's draw a mask like that so now to animate the position of the text we need to click right here then um, animate position and let's see um, at the 20th um, frame we're going to create a first keyframe and then we're going to um, create a keyframe um, at the 30th frame and we're going to change the value of the first keyframe um, to 100 so we got this and we're also going to ease these keyframes now we're going to do the same thing with this text layer we're going to animate the position we're going to create a keyframe right here and we're going to change the position to minus 100 then we're going to move 10 frames forwards and we're going to change this back to zero going to easy is the keyframes and this is what we've got so as you can see the only thing that we need to animate right now is this line so at the 15th frame we're going to add um, trim paths and I've talked about trim paths before in the circle verse tutorial so basically it just controls um, the start and the end point of your path so let's create a keyframe right here and let's set the end value to 0 then let's move 10 frames forwards and let's set it to 100 let's easy ease these keyframes by pressing F9 and let's take a look at this now So as you can see, that's a really simple intro animation. And the only thing um, that's left is to um, make a fade out um, for all of these layers. So select all of your layers, press D, then move um, your playhead somewhere near the end of your composition. Create an opacity keyframe move your playhead to the end of your composition and change this value to zero and as you can see all these elements fade out so that's it now you can render this composition but make sure that you render rgb plus alpha that's it for this tutorial if you would like to see more then please subscribe
Thank you for watching and see you next time.